Hi, this is a video postcard from New Orleans, Hurricane Katrina. What you're about to see is not going to be pretty. This isn't a pretty one either, but it is part of history of what happened here. Uh, they have essentially been trapped in that attic. I got him. He ain't going nowhere. Come on. One, two, three. Yeah. We saw one uh, Coast Guard helicopter. Out of the 32-year history here at CNN, there are two very prominent stories, I think, that will always stick with me. Sarajevo or the Bosnian conflict in Katrina. We have not got landfall yet officially from the Hurricane Center. When it hit, um, we were uh, reporting live. We tried to go outside. It was so dangerous. It's up, it's up, get in. The winds were so strong because they were going through the narrow streets. You had a lot of uh, windows that were blowing out, plates of glass were hitting the street. And after the storm came through, uh, that's when we re-emerged and we went down to the Superdome. We came across a city councilman and he just ran up to us and said, um, my people are dying by the hundreds. Come with me now. We have moved to the high. And we looked around as far as the eye could see, you could see people on rooftops, you could hear people screaming, you could hear dogs howling, you could hear the people banging. They, they were all up in the attic areas because the floodwaters came all the way up to the gutters and up almost to the rooftops in a lot of these homes. There were live power lines still in the water. You had natural gas lines that were bubbling through the water and releasing. You could smell the natural gas. And if any of the power lines hit, the uh, natural gas lines, there'd be explosions and blow up, and the waters just kept rising and rising, like inch by inch. And as it turned out, it was levees were breaking at that time. We were trying to figure out, you know, is there search and rescue? Is there anyone we could call? Uh, there was nobody there. And we saw one Coast Guard helicopter. We came across three guys. Three guys that were putting together their own private boat to go out. My intention was to document these three good Samaritans and whatever Coast Guard operations there were in those first hours that were to save these people. But then they asked me, said, look, we can't get these people in the boat. We need another hand. We need an able body to help pull people in the boat. And they asked me, they said, we need your help. Can you put the camera down? We were out for about 12 hours. And we, put, we brought in a couple boatloads of people, and I pulled 16 people up out of the water. Uh, you in the tree? I'm in the water. Okay. You're in the water? Okay, uh -huh. let me see where I can see you. We rescued a double amputee. He was a, a war veteran, and um, we had to get him up into the boat. He was just hanging on to a tree, you know, with his head above the water. And all he cared about was we had to leave his dog behind. Luckily, the good story is they did get the dog and they were reunited. The camera battery light became a, a big thing. There was a, a gentleman there that had a stroke and the water went all the way up to the attic. He had his head just above the water, just uh, barely above the water and in the rafters in the attic. And what they did was they tied a piece of bed sheet around to keep his body afloat so he wouldn't drown. And they literally had to uh, cut away the, the bed sheet and then lift him by his arms up through the hole in the attic and up on the rooftop. One, two, three, yeah! On the beam behind you, not in front Come on, I'm holding him. <laughs> you know, once it got completely dark, the rescue operations ceased until the morning. And in those hours, there were those that didn't make it. Who was at your house with you? My wife. And where is she now? Can't find her body. She gone. I actually uh, did, you know, a little counseling afterwards because you would, you would just get not not depression, but maybe a little PTSD of why didn't we stop at that house? Why did we get that house? Those people are here. Those people aren't. We did what we could with the resources we had, 
Uh, and it's that psychological thing that you just like, you, you wish you could have done more, but you got to look at the positive side. And you can't think of the negative side of how many people you didn't get to.